Hello, hello to you, my fellow printed dweebs. You're very welcome to another episode of Community News from 3D Jake. All the news from the community and what's going on with us too. I'm joining you from 3D Jake office in the center of Graz in southern Austria, birthplace of the Habsburg jaw. Here's what's going on in 3D printing right now. Alrighty, first thing is what is new in the shop and we are getting the Soval SV08 Max pretty soon. Uh, it's very similar to the original SV08, but of course even bigger than the SV08, which was pretty big already actually. Uh, it has the same speed and acceleration, 700 millimeters per second at 40K, but an upgraded hot end with a max flow of 50 millimeters cubed per second. Uh, the bed has a whopping 1.3 kilowatts of power. Wow. This would be an absolute beast with the tool changer mod. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing someone do that. Next up is the Sunlu AMS heater. This is a drying add-on for the AMS version one on your Bamboo Lab printer. Uh, this reaches 70 degrees with a power rating of 500 watts, so it's good for most common filaments. It essentially just replaces the top cover of the AMS. However, one shouldn't really just dismiss this as another heater because of course it's integrated into the AMS and other integrated systems like the Anycubic Ace Pro or even the AMS2 Pro don't have as high a max temperature or power rating as this one does. So we're really interested in trying this out, of course. Uh, we got one. It's actually very light. So I've got mine and we'll be testing this in the coming days. Next up is Bamboo Labs PC filament. So this is a flame retardant polycarbonate, which is V0 rated, meaning it self extinguishes after 10 seconds. If you need a strong flame retardant filament, this might be just for you. And you can dry it on your new Sunlu AMS heater. Okay, in community news, Galactic Armory have been hit with a cease and desist order from Games Workshop. So Games Workshop can be a very uh, enthusiastic about protecting their IP. I guess it's not surprising that this happened. Um, so yeah, they have requested that all 40k related designs to be removed from the website. Galactic Armory are essentially a cosplay shop, so you can you can buy physical props, which is pretty cool, but you can also get the 3D files for them to, to print yourself on your own printer. Uh, I love the designs that they create, and you should check them out. The link is down below. Aaron, who runs Galactic Armory, put out a video a couple of days on their YouTube explaining the situation and their future hopes and plans, and he seems like a very down-to-earth and gracious chap. Uh, we hope the transition to their new plans goes smoothly, and you can watch the video and uh, see their YouTube channel. The link is down below. Okay, in print farm news, Bamboo have released their Bamboo Farm Manager. So this is a free platform for managing your print farm. This was announced like a year ago, but only now available as a free download for Bamboo machines, excluding the X1E and the H2D, but these are in the pipeline. It's apparently all done on a local network and there is no limit to how many printers you actually want to hook up with this program. Um, we have four Bamboo Lab printers. Yeah, uh, two A1s, A1 Mini and uh, the P1S behind us. So I think I'm, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see what it's like. If you want to check it out yourself, then the link is also down below. Okay, lastly in uh, legal news, um, the New York District Attorney's Office have requested that Thingiverse uh, take steps to block 3D printed guns and parts from being added to their library. Thingiverse is complying and will be implementing some sort of system that automatically detects uh, these. Not sure how that's going to work or how specific or effective it will be. The goal is to reduce proliferation, of course. It's obviously not going to stop ghost guns altogether. I actually wasn't even aware that Thingiverse had a lot of designs for guns and gun parts. But that's one side of the story, uh, which is not really that inflammatory. Um, actually, if it works, then yeah, go for it. If, it. if it works optimally and it doesn't affect other users, then go for Thingiverse. It's, it's good. What is a little more dramatic is that the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, has been requesting that other printer companies uh, join in and apparently requested that Bamboo Lab include measures such as screening print jobs against a database of gun blueprints that can then block the printing of a suspected weapon part. Yeah, people are really not going to like the screening part of that request. All right, that about does it for this month. Remember, all the links for stories and videos are down below in the description, and you can also join our Discord server. We have a Discord server where there is printer doc on a daily basis. Join us there. We'll be back with another video next week. So happy printing, and we'll see you then. Later. Later.